Work on EWE's new wind farm, Rifgat, proceeded around the clock, seven days a week for a year, on Sundays and holidays, in wind and rain, for nothing, as it turned out. The 30 wind turbines in the North Sea stand idle. And the workers are not happy. It's frustrating. Of course, it's damaging economically, and it's a shame and frustrating for the people who put everything they had into this, and then nothing comes out of it. Rather than generating power, the turbines are consuming it. Diesel generators have to be fired up every day to activate the turbines and keep them in working order. Isn't it crazy to be running a wind farm with diesel engines? It looks that way at first glance, but the wind farm needs electricity to keep from deteriorating. It would be much worse not to do this. We might save a little diesel fuel, but all the machinery would be ruined. Rifgat needs 50 kilometers of undersea cable to operate. All but 13 kilometers have been laid by the Dutch electricity transmission system operator, Tenet. But delays have been caused by bombs on the seabed left over from World War II. As Tenet described it, the cable runs through an area where there were unexpectedly large amounts of munitions. Clearing them was an extremely complicated task and was severely hampered by poor visibility, strong currents and bad weather, among other things. The builders and operators of the wind farm have little patience with such explanations. EWE is accusing Tenet of bad planning. We don't deny that there's ordnance down there, a lot of it. And it's hard to clear it away because it's underwater and the divers can't see very well. Everybody realizes that. The problem, as we see it, is that all this was already known. We very clearly warned about it for the first time in 2006. So they should have started on it earlier. It's a question of project management. After all, we got our wind farm done on time. The delay is having repercussions in Emden. Many suppliers and others were depending on the wind farm. The wind turbine maker Bard Offshore was counting on more orders, but now they'll be a long time coming. Nordsee Vaca built the foundations for the turbines, but now the shipyard is defunct. Investors were partly scared off by the problems with the submarine cables. The Emden City Council is also worried about the community's future. Of course we're disappointed here in Emden because we'd really been hoping to be in a completely different situation today, where, for instance, instead of a hundred employees, Bard Offshore would have a thousand, or Ziag or DSD would be operating with five to seven hundred employees. So lots of jobs were depending on this in a relatively structurally weak region. East Frisia had pinned a lot of hopes on offshore development, and so far, unfortunately, nothing's come of them. The Rifgat wind farm is now set to go online in February of 2014. At least, that's the plan.